Live. This is South Florida Today on NBC6 HD. Hey there, welcome back. Being a parent can keep you on the run all day long, but most moms and dads can't seem to find time in the world at all for a proper workout. I know, you know. We have lifestyle expert Jenny Eisenman here to tell us uh, some great tips for getting that workout in, and I'm sure they involve kids. They do. Well, some of them do. I mean, it kind of has to. I mean, well, I mean, I'm not going to tell you to bench press them, but there are some workouts where you I've actually do. I took a yoga <laughs> class with my baby where they, I was like, if I drop her, it's just not going like to be worth it. Mom. Having the tight glutes is not going to be worth it. So, but you remember like the days when you used to be able to eat like wings and everything and really just... You mean before kids? Yes. Yeah, before remember those kids. days? And like now I eat a Baby. Cheeto. You can like outline it on your thighs. I remember my dreams about those days sometimes. I know. It's sad. Yeah. So if you want to look the way that you did pre-babies, you have Please. to work at it. Okay. There's no magic thing. So first I'm going to start with making a commitment because okay. for me, the first thing I give up is my workout. If I have anything to do in the day and I thought, oh, I'm going to work out this morning, that's the first thing that goes. Even yeah, if I just too. want to clean out my closet, I drop the workout. It's right. And it's, when I'm laying in bed, no I feel priority. so guilty about it at night. Right. You feel totally guilty. So Although I do have a trick. I have started putting my jeans that don't fit anymore in the refrigerator. <gasps> and that has actually... Deter you from snacking? Well, no, but it makes me want to work out. I still okay. I just move them aside to grab the snacks, but it does make me want to work out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we had a story about like putting new jeans in, in the freezer instead of cleaning them or something. It's, okay, let's, let's get back this, to the workout. This is just to make you feel horrible about yourself. It's a terrible <laughs> tip. Okay, so the next thing you want to do after you commit, because that's okay. really important, is bring the family along, okay? okay? Take the kids to the park and don't sit on the bench. Don't sit and gossip with the girls. Play, have a catch. Little kids miss a lot. You could just be, you could just retrieve the balls and get a workout. Go for a hike. I mean, we live in South Florida. Yeah. So you can be outside almost any day. You have to take advantage of that. Yeah, the there dog. Really is no excuse. Taking the dog for a walk. Your dog could probably use a nice 20 minute walk. Go do I take my dog for bike rides. Oh, you're good. My he's, dog needs he's a He's a fast ride. peddler. Um, so the next thing you want to do is be a domestic diva. This is going to okay. sound really cliche like 50s beaver cleaver, but Cleaning actually burns a lot of calories. Ha ha. So, and on my website later, I'm actually going to have a list of how many calories you burn. Or a domestic dad. Or a domestic, domestic dad. dad yes, too, right? I'm sorry. I don't want to forget the dads. <laughs> Vacuuming, sweeping, mopping, dusting, all of that. It yeah. burns a pretty decent amount of calories. And then afterwards, you look at your house and you're all happy because you've multitasked. You are happy, yes. Right? That's yes. like exciting. Okay, the next one. Save the environment and your glutes. Okay, meaning? This is Meaning, do your tasks outdoors so okay. say you live near a Starbucks or a Publix or something ride your bike there go get your coffee go get a couple things if you need to get a couple things go take a walk there don't you know don't use your car when you normally would I, for a while I was driving I was driving my daughter in my bike and she has like a little chariot to school every Monday and it was you know I had a set thing that was my plan oh my goodness. we biked to school we went through the whole she carpool lane loved it she too. loved it she was like a princess we pulled right up behind the cars she got out it was people clapped it, was, it, well, it really is like it was like a whole the entrance for yes. a child it was a big entrance so you know just find things to do okay. and that way you're saving the environment and of course your glutes yeah and um, the last thing you can do is bring the gym to you because a you know gyms are expensive but also they kind of make you feel guilty because you never get there you know what I mean? You've got that membership, oh, and then you're you're not using it, and then you feel worse about yourself, and it kind of... But there are so many things you can do in the house, and even with your kids. If you have a Wii, the Wii Fit is amazing. Oh, it's really a blast. It's amazing. And they have, like, a lot of different programs, too. They have a ton, and anyone. you can do them together. We, me and my son do Dance Dance Revolution. We do dance-offs. I mean, I'm in a full sweat. I mean, we do it. You can even set the calories. A lot of people don't know that you can do that. You can set it for I've workout. That. That's amazing. And it will even kind of track your progress, track which is really neat as well, kind it, of for that encouragement. It absolutely does. And then you're doing something with your family also. But they have a P90X is a great home system or the P90, okay. which is the original one. Carmen Electra does a ton of striptease videos. That's like multitasking. You can learn how to do something later the on. husbands might not complain for that well, one either. That, that might not be good for the domestic dad, though. <laughs> All right. All great, right. great information. For more information on parenting with a twist of humor, you can check out Jenny's website, thesuburbanjungle.com. I, I think we're sending it over to Roxy with a little twist over there. Girl, you can say that again because if you're looking.